All right, here we go again. This is start to finish. My well, man's over here hooking up the pressure washer. We're using a zero tip. Never, man. Huh? He's the hose man. Here. Using a zero tip, sprays a straight oh. stream. We're gonna pull some hose out. And then we're gonna burn a line in the ground. You can hold your mouth right. You make sure the washer's in there. You turn it backwards, that's why. Turn it left. No, it's got to go that way. Yeah, I thought you turned it the other way. No. Pull the fitting out. Pull the black out. There you go. Now turn it. What is your O-ring on the inside is pushed to the outside. All right. You got it? Floyd, if I you don't helping? learn everything or you helping? something every day. Poppy said, I'm a help. I've not had a good day if I don't learn something. Well, you can learn something today, I know. Marvin said, this is slicking our grease weasel's butt. All right. What I'm going to do is burn a trench into the ground, and then after I get it cut through the top of the grass mat, then I'm going to take the bush axe and trim the grass out. Then I can burn it on down about as deep as I want to go, and it leaves like a mud slurry. Once I get the slurry deep enough all the way down, then we'll push the PVC down and lay the trench back over it. The ideal thing is like we did up there at the other barn and fill it back in with some screenings, but I'm in a hurry today. We got, we want to go. We're on go. So if you would light this thing off, it'll probably crank right on up. Take the choke off. There you go. All right. You gonna be the cameraman? Yes, sir. Can I do commentary? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Hopefully, if you're watching this, you also saw his side cutter. It hook to a regular riding lawnmower to cut this thing. I got to build it up, boss. The man, the man's insane, but he's small. He's a good man.
I think the horses are wondering what in the world is he doing now. But you never know. Hey, listen. 
Yeah, I've had before. You cut this off? No, I don't know. I think that's it. I don't think that was One more aspect of Floyd Moore's expertise in the world of machinist welding fencing. Well, all I gotta do is run some more wire around the fence and terminate it off. But uh, I put it inside PVC, this electrical PVC. Pull it all the way back, Marvin. Marvin, don't choke it off. You pull the stop all the way back. You just choked it. You pull this all the way back and it cuts it off. You choke it like that, it floods the motor and it might not start the next time. No, I'll just leave it like it is. But anyway, I put it inside electrical PVC, which we pre-bent. You can buy the PVC elbows, or you can do like we did and fire up the turkey fire fryer burner and hold it over it for a few minutes. Make yeah, make your own heating you thing. Oh, you right yeah, he's got the water. But anyway, that works pretty good. I thought it was pretty slick myself, and the guys did too. Me the hell out of using a shovel. You wind up a little bit muddy, but time's money. You know how that is. When you're paying these guys $5 an hour, you know, it can break you. <laughs> anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. I know these two guys did. Anyway, I thought it was pretty slick myself. Oh, and by the way, these are half-inch conduit metal EMT clamps, not PVC. The way I was doing them, they clamp pretty tight. So hopefully a lawnmower won't get it. Because if you run the wire up there without shielding on it, a lawnmower's going to get it. Weed eater's going to get it. This way here, if it gets it, you know it before it gets to the electrical wire and shorts it out. Same way with it underground here. With PVC, you'll see the PVC before you see the bare wire. If you slack like I did up there and let somebody keep riding over with the tractor and see the PVC and don't go and do something about it, you wind up doing like I got to do later on and fix the underground wire. So, preventive maintenance is the way to go. 
But anyway, the horses could care less right now, but they won't mess with that electric fence because it'll light up every light on the fence charger and scare you when it does it. So, from the equine fencer, I'll catch y'all later.